All right, we're going to go over the notes for lesson 3-2, proving lines that are parallel. What you're going to notice right away with these first few boxes is that they all start with converse of, converse of, converse of. Converse of corresponding angles, converse of alternate interior angles, converse of same side interior angles. So if you flip back, converse means reverse. You got an if-then statement, converse means put it in reverse. So what was the original corresponding angles postulate or the alternate interior angles theorem? Well, if you go back to lessons 3-1, there's the corresponding angle one, alternate interior one. These say, if a transversal intersects two parallel lines, then the corresponding angles are congruent. If the transversal intersects two parallel lines, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. So basically saying, if you've got parallel lines, then certain angles are congruent, whether it's corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior. When we use the word converse, is we're going to reverse this. We're going to notice, hey, we've got angles that are congruent. That makes the lines parallel. So that is what converse says. So let's read this carefully. If two lines, now we don't know that they're parallel. They might be parallel. We don't know. And a transversal forms congruent corresponding angles, then those two lines are parallel. So if you notice, oh, there's two lines here, M and N, and I really don't know if they're parallel, but if all of a sudden you know hey, angle 1 and angle 5, which are corresponding angles, and if they are definitely congruent, if angle 1 and angle 5 are congruent, then line M parallel, and that's the symbol for parallel, to line N. You could put tick marks here if you like. Okay. So this is just the opposite of the regular corresponding angles postulate, which basically says, here are parallel lines, those angles are congruent. And this one, we don't know if the lines are parallel, but if the angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. The same could be said with corresponding. So we've got uh, two lines. We notice that the alternate interior angles are congruent, therefore the lines are parallel. So if three and six are equal, then line M is parallel to N. Same with alternate exterior. We've got alternate exterior angles that are equal, then that forces these two lines to be parallel. M is parallel to N. So again, you start with the angles, you've got information about the angles, that makes the lines parallel. Now we go to converse of same side interior, converse of same side exterior. Same side interior are not equal, but if you notice those same side interior angles add up to 180, then the two lines are parallel, parallel. Same with same side converse of same side exterior, parallel. If we notice these two dot angles add up to 180, then line M is parallel to line N. If these two dot exteriors add up to 180, then line M is parallel to line N. So converse is you start with the angles. If angles are equal or if angles add up to 180, then lines are parallel. Okay, that's basically then certain lines are parallel. All right, let's go look at the first few boxes here and then we'll start today's work. Which lines or segments are parallel. Justify your answer. Basically, you're looking at this picture and they want to know which set of lines are parallel. I'm going to use some colors here. Really, everything looks parallel, but only certain ones are parallel based on the tick marks. Is it going to be these two in pink going left to right? Are those parallel? Or is it these two in yellow going up and down? Well, you don't want to just guess because they look like they're parallel. You've got to have information. And we have tick marks here. You've got to ask yourself, those tick marks will make either the pink lines, A, B, C, D, parallel, or those two tick marks will make the yellow lines, A, C, B, D. And you've got to know, looking at the transversal, those two lines affect which ones? Well, Let's kind of redraw. There's the lines that are going left to right. Here's the transversal. Here's a tick mark here, and here's a tick mark there. Here's the lines going up and down in yellow. Here's the transversal. Here's the tick mark. There's a tick mark here, but 
this angle is not really complete. There's a tick mark here, but this angle is not really complete. So the ones that are actually going to be parallel based on these alternate interior angles are right here. The pink ones. Because technically these guys really aren't being formed by the lines that are going up and down. Okay, now had it been this dot angle is congruent to this dot angle, then we are talking about the up and down line. So if this dot here was equal to this dot, then the yellow lines would be parallel. But since they didn't mention that, the ones, the two lines that are parallel are the pink, and in this picture it's AB is parallel to left to right CD. And then they want you to justify your answer, so you're going to say this is the converse oops, of these are alternate interior angles of alternate interior angles. If angles are equal, then the pink lines are parallel. That's what the converse of alternate interior angles means. Okay, let's look at this one here. Kind of the same idea. Which lines are parallel? Justify your answer. You are given the fact that 1 plus 2, this green dot angle 1 plus this green dot angle 4, add up to 180. Now based on that, certain lines can be parallel. The question is, which two lines are affected by those green dots? Is it the up and down pink lines? Or is it the left to right green line? I mean, the left to right yellow lines, not green. Well, it all depends on the dot, so let me kind of redraw this. Here's the pink lines going this way. There's a transversal here, and here is angle 1, and here's angle 4. Here is the left to right yellow lines. And you've got one of the angles here. You've got the other angle here. Neither of these angles are really affecting this line on top. This line on top could be doing its own thing. It could be actually going this direction. You would never know it because... These two angles here, the 1 and the 4, are not affecting this top line. So which two lines are parallel because angle 1 and angle 4 are add up to 180? It's these pink lines that are going up and down. So we're going to label this. Pink line ED is parallel to pink line CK. And the reason why, now these are interior angles on the same side. This is converse of same side interior angles. When the interior angles add up to 180, that makes the pink lines parallel. Okay, so you got to look at the angles and which set of lines do they affect. Now we don't really know if the yellows are parallel. They could be, but you don't want to assume it based on angle 1 and 4 in green.